we missed two goals in two minutes, two clear goals. Hello, beautiful. Welcome to the United Way. Manchester United won Olympic Lyonnais, the French team, zero. In this video, I want to tell you guys my analysis. And there's a lot of good news, which has nothing to do with the results. If you think this is one of the games that will make you feel very confident that we're going to win the league, then you're making a big mistake. But if you think this is a game that gives you some hope about the future of Manchester United, our youth players and some players which we never knew them, I mean, then it is a good day, I would say. But yeah, I just want to go straight to players which I think we need to give them some shout out here yeah, on our match reaction. And um, one of the few players, which are a few senior players, who I think we, we had a good game, a, a, a normal game. That's his games. Uh, Donny van de Beek, not because he scored, but just from the way he plays. Donny van de Beek is a player which might be so this uh, summer, but Donny van de Beek is a player that most United fans really like. They really hope he works for him. But um, not because they love the guy, but if you watch the way Donny played, you understand why he fit up with the Ajax system, why he can be a very good player for Manchester City. Talking about him, I think the biggest problem Donny van de Beek has as a footballer playing in a big team wherever he goes is his attitude. He he lacks that personality, you know. My ex little experience in football, it's, I mean, football as a, a team actually is a bunch of people with different characters. If you don't have a personality, it's so difficult. I think it's even seen in, on the pitch the way it is. He's very passive. He's he's a very straightforward player, Donny van de Beek. But yeah, guys, I also want to say uh, certain players which I, the, from the youth team, which I think were really good and which I, I think they have a future. Even Ten Hag considered uh, keeping them maybe this season. It's much like on the video, if Kobe Mourinho was your man of the match in the first half. I mean, he played for the first half. He was clearly my man of the match. The, uh, what I see in Kobe Mourinho is that this young guy, he is very confident, he's direct, he can take risk. I think he's a very good player for Manchester United. He clearly will be with the first team. You can see, well, I mean, the only reason he couldn't be is the reason that he will be, that he isn't physical enough, but clearly he is physical. And this is what I think I was very impressed today with. It's much like on the video, if you think at the first half, he was the man of the match. I think he was the, the leader there. Yes, Mount had some the good uh, period, but, but I think, um, Let's talk more about the players which we don't know because you won't judge Mount from the preseason. Mason Mount is a, a season player in the Premier League. Yeah, so uh, another player which I want to give a shout out is our goalkeeper. I think he he, he played the the game. Uh, this is a player which has been on loan in Sparta Prague. What I am impressed with him is the the fact that he is, he has the quality of the modern goalkeeping, which uh, he plays well with his legs. Yeah, and I think uh, he he had a very good game as well. And yeah, guys, before I continue, I just want to tell you guys please click the like on the video. It does help. Uh, the channel a lot and please share this video subscription is yours but i would love you to join the community we upload videos on this channel every day so well, there you go another young player in the first half which i really i really i was really impressed with was the fernandez i have I've, I've spoken with some fans here in spain uh, that uh, fernandez is a player that united needs to keep if i were a fan heart right we are a fan channel we are fans just like you watching i would keep fernandez because we do have Terra malasia who can play on the right and the left also in case of whatever we have these utility players a lot we have Luke Shaw who can play a centre defence as well which means that there might be an opportunity that we need a left hand. I think we should keep him, that's what, I, that's what I'm what i trying to say. But yeah, in the second half I was so impressed with Dan Gore a very, very physical midfielder and highly technical. I was a midfielder so I do appreciate these players. What I like more in Gore's game is the way he could orientate the ball I don't know if this is the right word. The way you receive and just make a, a, a semi-turn, it is very good quality for you playing as a midfield being like an 8 or a 6. You you saw that with Pierlo, you saw that with Zinedine Zidane, you saw that with Dona Merci. It is so important. That is a technique which, no, if you get it right, you will be <laughs> appreciated in selections. Because what I'm seeing here is, yes, United has a preseason. If you look clearly, this is a selection. This is a decision time, not for the senior team, 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 team players. It's for our youth. And also, I would say that uh, the big picture is Manchester United has a very good youth team. I think most of them have to be given a chance. Uh, most of them have given a chance in this preseason and most of them also have to go on loan. We cannot keep all the players but if I were Ten Hag because obviously we are not Ten Hag with the manager at the end of the day we have to take these decisions. I will keep three players till December and see how it goes because yeah we trying to build a team that can create an impact in their season and an impact may, di may, may differ from one or two issues in, in the sense that let me ask you guys a question what will be a good season for Manchester United next season? I've asked that on my Facebook. By the Facebook group guys by the way follow us on our Facebook group we have 
somebody somewhere here yeah? and uh, we do a lot of breaking news there that will be very helpful for you if you want to get these fast quick news about Manchester United that's on Facebook you will do that and follow us on our socials and uh, that will be fine the game today again Manchester United all I can say is I think the game Manchester United has just shown today that we have a good a good school of football that a youth team a team that can, we can count on in difficult period so I think it's very important for United uh, to show to show this uh, game yes the result we won while well, one goal to nil it could be two nil and yeah I wouldn't I, it could be two two three nil it could, this game today had to be easily a three four nil but let me tell you guys this before I continue those actions when the first minute of play which we had we missed two goals in two minutes two clear goals which means Anthony had to score and also Diallo had to score in the Premier League it is unforgivable to miss such actions it is unforgivable those goals can those goals can, can kick you out of the top four season let's just hope that uh, this wouldn't happen in the league and these players will work very hard because those actions were this a clean goal i don't know what if you guys watch the game talking about watching the game i said this already if you want to watch the game please go to the uh, uh, all the pre-season mu tv the manchester united official tv just show the game for the games if you have to if you want to watch it on your laptop or on your app or on your phone all you need to do is just subscribe or register an account and you will watch all manchester united pre game free that's what i did there's no magic about it and everybody does it i wouldn't give a man of the match but i think in the first half i'll give player who stand out for me was kobe menu i love his authority i won't give vera and i wouldn't give this to to martinez these are season players they are already there i'm mean, in a very good situation i won't give this to Mr. mount and in the second half i won't give this to donny van de beek yes he scored a goal but i won't do it i will give it to i really like the goal guy honestly i really like him yeah the, the guy i was talking was arons isaac aron the midfielder the left midfield winger is Aaron. It's very technical and I think he has a future in, in, in football clearly. But Manchester United, I think we need to put an eye on him. Uh, I think he's very good, a good player if we manage very well. I think the good news for our reserve team is our youth is that we have a manager who knows how to nurture young talent and I think they will give them a chance. So guys, we are smash a like on the video if you're happy for the victory if you're happy for the performance because i don't care about the victory yes we want to win games but i don't care about the victory personally in friendly games friendly games are let me just pre-season games are just the if you want to judge manchester united from pre-season games then you don't know football you don't understand anything don't i mean don't even tell us that we can i mean it doesn't work that way what is good in pre-season games is that we can see that the manchester club in general our youth players come and express themselves we know them we they, at this point of time we are lucky we have a manager who is good at nurturing young players and that may be an advantage also moving forward we haven't had such a manager for a long time we had van de beek i mean sorry we have um uh, jose Mourinho. we had um uh, who, who loves ready players we had Ole Gunnar Solskjaer who had no clue how to manage players so uh, yeah and before I go I want to say something some uh, United fans channels who are talking about youth players are not ready enough they are not ripe enough they are not uh, uh, experienced enough I uh, just ask, answer this question please before I leave you guys if we didn't have an injury on that UEFA game if you remember, when when Liz Van Gaal brought Marcus Rashford, he didn't have to start that game even. He was on the bench. He would have come in for five minutes, but he didn't have to start that game. Would have him be signing this contract of 400k a week? Would have, him, would have Marcus Rashford been the player he is today? In football, you must take a risk. That is why most of the players, most of these teams, right, every season, we do have in the, in the clubs, the 20 clubs are here in general, at least 10 to 50 percent of youth players go to the first teams you see because we have always there's always an average of between 10 10 and even the 15 percent of uh, players sold out of the league or players retired or, uh, of the league and youth players have to come to the league so you should not be scared to give players a chance so i am i'm so confident that ten Hag will give this youth somehow a chance maybe in the cups maybe in weaker games so let's see how it goes anyway i'll give you my point slash a like on the video subscribe to the united way drop your comments below i want to ask a question are you satisfied with the the, the, the game with our youth setup come out and tell me what you guys think and yeah talk to you soon guys